program. I could be good. I'll be a star. When you rent a PG film, be aware that it stands for Private Garden, which means it will be filmed in a privately owned garden. Watching a movie that is rated PG effectively makes you an accessory to trespassing. Hey, I got enough convictions, you know, you know? I don't need any more, okay? Okay. Oh, there once was a dog named Dudsy. That dog he didn't love so to dance. He would jive, jitter, shimmy, and samba. He would two step and disco. He would prance. But the thing you must know about Dudsy is that Dudsy he couldn't quite dance. The truth is that Dudsy just danced for his food Standing up thus would cause him bad cramps Dudsy's dancing was unnatural behavior No dog should ever act that way Dancing caused Dudsy such terrible pain And Dudsy the dog died of shame Now Dudsy the dog is called Dudsy He's dead from his head to his tail and the thing you must know about Dedzy Is that Dedzy is rotting in hell Oh, Dedzy is rotting in hell Would you like your house to be haunted by the shrieking spirits of your loved ones? Do you wish to commune with your friends and relations for months, possibly years, after their deaths? Are you tired of waiting for them to pass away so that this thing I just mentioned can happen? Good, 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 good news. Here at Armstrong Long's Old Style Country Ghost Workshop, we bring death forward by making your loved ones ghosts today. Our on-site murders will dispose of your friends and relations for you. And it's Armstrong Long's guarantee that by the time we finish, their eternal souls will never be at peace. For just $5 extra, you even get to choose the manner of their passing. Basic strangulation, advanced strangulation, poisoning, sexy poisoning, smothered with a ski mask, smothered with a sock, squashed by a giant concrete pie that I've made. Fed to a dugong, fed to five dugongs, pecked to death by robo birds, hit with a brick, hit with two bricks, one after another, bonk, bonk. Fed with figs until they burst, put on a big catapult and fired at a fig tree. Figs up the nose, walnuts up the bump. These are a few of my favorite things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Spun around far too fast. Come on down to Armstrong Wong's Old Style Country Ghost Workshop. We also do pets. Hello. Um, people are always coming up to me uh, and saying that they are worried. I'm saying they're worried about the strain we are putting on Earth's natural resources in terms of uh, the food that we eat. We, 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 we are asking too much of good Papa Earth. And it's really got me thinking. And I've come up with a solution. I call it the human orchard. I really, I really don't want to do this anymore. The human orchard is basically the body, and it's all over. The, it is a body, and it mm, makes you uh, um, full. If we start with the hair, the hair is a breeding ground. Where's he going? There he is. Mmm. That is uh, delicious. So that is um, delightful. 
The eyes, of course, um, if you make someone very sad by um, saying, I hate you and I hope you die, mm -hmm. is and if you get an egg cup, there's just enough there um, for a baby. Um, also, the nose mucus, um, if harvested on cotton buds or with a very, very sharp knife, it makes a tasty alternative to fish paste. The mouth for kissing. What's the matter? Stung all over the face and tongue? Then you need these. Wasp bells. Hello, I'm Flanzy Seabong, and I'd like to tell you about this. Wasp bells. But who or what are wasp bells? Wasp bells are tiny bells. Like really small ones, yeah? Really small ones, yeah? <laughs> Simply tie wasp bells around the necks of all your local stripers. From that day forth, whenever a local wasp emerges from its little home, you shall hear the ring-ding-a-ting, giving you time to brace, escape, or slide beneath your wasp bell brand escape membrane. Soon, stinging will be a thing of the past. Tie the bells, escape the striped ones. Yes, you shall sing your song again, my son. Warning. Wasp bells are not suitable for use on bees, or the pop singers Sting and Michael Stripes. Michael Stripes, Michael Stripes, Michael Stripes. Michael Stripes. Michael Stripes. Hello, Goujon Jean. I've built up quite the collection of Goujons over the last four years or so, but now my wife has started to complain that our home smells like a rancid hen. Is there anything I can do about this terrible stench? I can't do anything about the odor, I'm afraid, but may I suggest you insert a pair of scented Goujon nasal plugs into your wife's left and right nostrils. They'll come in a choice of three pleasing fragrances. Warm Aspect, Spicy Flamingo, and Pelican Head. Please go, Jean Jean. Django. Do you have a steady hand? Django. Django. Do you have nerves of steel? Django. Django. Do you want to be shot in the face with a blast of real fungal spores? Ah! Play new Django spores from Xenox Industries. Warning contains real fungal spores may cause the following symptoms blindness death. Django! 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 Django!
eight was a type of liquid sausage. The Sinclair C9 was Clive's worst idea to date. It was a B in a folder, it'd slip under your gate. Product after product would fail to sell. The Sinclair C10 was a ham full of bells. C's 11 through 14 were sponges soaked in Clive's dirty drips. The C15 was a bean that you rubbed on your lips. Trapped in his home, Sir Clive was profoundly distressed. Of all his failed devices, which one was the best? The Sinclair C6 should have succeeded. Prosthetic rectum. Sir Clive, Sir Clive, Sinclair. Sir Clive, Sir Clive. He has a rubber hole. Don't stay in silence in your home. Talk at Real Minds on the telephone. Mind Talk. Mind Talk. Call 0898-127-RB03-1019993 to chat now at Real Minds. That's right. Our real living minds are just waiting to hear your voice. They won't talk back, but they'll hear almost every word you say. Come on, why don't you give the mimes a call, huh? Just ring them, okay? Ring them now. These are real good mimes. Choose from one of these exciting mime topics. Walking in a strong breeze, being trapped in a glass box, pulling on a rope, or one of these even more exciting topics. Throwing a belt at a brake, salting the pontiff's head, evading a greasy crab. Just call the mimes, okay? Just call them, please. Pick up the phone, why don't you? Will you just hurry up and call? Call Mime Talk now. Do it. Just call. Why is it anybody calling? The mimes are just waiting here and nobody is talking at them. Please, call the mimes. 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 Hello? Ah, uh, hello, Goujon Jean, you slimy thirdler. Now, my son, Jam Jam, is forever forgetting to chew. He's now got nine Goujons wedged against his thorax, and I don't know how to ease them along. Can you offer any assistance? Of course I can. Try Goujon Jean's intestinal Goujon worms. Just pop one of those worm wads into your son's mouth and allow it to be dissolved by his digestive juices thus freeing the worms. They'll break down the Zhujan blockage in as little as 24 hours, with almost no discomfort. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. It's Grab a Crab Week down at Stephen Shane's House of Semen. For one week only, you can grab one of our crabs. It's no joke. Just reach into our pools of liquid and pull up one or more of our crabs. What you do with it then is entirely up to you. Tie them around your waist with one or more of our crab straps and just drag them along behind you. Tell them that you love them. Give them a wash. Press them firmly against your abdomen and shout, I've got crabs against my abdo. Our Salty Seaman will be on hand to answer any of your crab-related questions and are eager to induct you into our private Seaman Academy. Grab a crab week at Seaman Chains, House of Seaman. We can't wait to give you crabs.
Hello, good John John. Welcome. Welcome. I've got myself a job as a cosmonaut and I'm worried about my Gujons floating off and blocking up all those machines that they have on the International Space Station. Is there anything you can do to help? Try Zhuzhan John Cosmonaut Zhuzhan. Which come with a strip of Velcro allowing you to stick your Zhuzhan to any compatible fuzzy surface. I once affixed mine to a shaved cub. Fingernails, show your hands. Fingernails, you can see here, I've eaten uh, the majority of the uh, fingernails. It, uh, you have a bowl of them um, on the table when you have guests around for a dinner party, or maybe I put them in my daughter's uh, lunchbox. Um, also, one of my favorite things is under here. If you lift your um, arm right up, under here, uh, the sweat is, um, uh, you can have it as a drink, but if you leave it up there, please. And um, basically it has all the vitamins and the minerals that you uh, could possibly want. That's the nipples. And uh, if you suck hard enough, you can even milk a man. Now, as we work further down, this is where things get really tasty. No! Yeah? Let me touch it! There's only why can't we use your body? I am the farmer, we don't eat. The farmer? Who's ever heard of, um, of that? Let me do it now! <laughs> two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, ten!